So McCabe Callahan at communityfunded.com. You know, I would think you'd be a dot org. You're saving the whole damn world <laughs> just with your website in Colorado. Uh, and, right. and it's just wonderful. I mean, I have to commend you about, you know, your heart being in this to really do something for, you know, communities all over, whether it's a local, you know, community or, or whether it's your social organization or nonprofit or your business or whatever, and you got it, you know, like nobody else in this crowdfunding. So where did this come from again? You said you owned a coffee shop? Yeah, that's right, man. I, I started a coffee shop when I was 22 years old and grew that like crazy. I was 24 and had five coffee shops and a bar. Wow. Not any idea what I was doing. <laughs> Retouching the stove and realizing it was hot. And then basically uh, decided to really just figure out what I wanted to do as a business. And so I downsized because I realized I wasn't really living the mission that I'd set out to uh. do and focused on just my one downtown coffee shop. And then uh, a couple of years later, expanded that to have another one close to the Colorado State campus. But that was my community. That's what I created. And, and that's what kind of inspired me for parts of community funded. Yeah, but that was 10 years ago. <laughs> Nobody knew how to spell crowdfunding then. <laughs> well, you know, it actually started before the idea of crowdfunding was really around. In 2009, when there was a handful of crowdfunding sites out there, they were actually calling it social funding back then. Ah. Um, I, I was trying to get a loan for my new coffee shop, and the banks turned me down, and I told one of my customers about that. He would asked how the new shop was going. I said, well, I'm not doing it. I couldn't get a loan from the bank even though I'd already been in business for nine years. And he said, well, why didn't you talk to me? I would have helped. And so he actually offered to fund part of the coffee shop, and then another customer stepped up and another customer. Really? And eventually it was over five customers that helped me fund my new shop that I opened up. And that was really part of the idea that led to some of the ideas that started Community Funded. So. Well, that's what crowdfunding is about, right? You find potential that's customers who give you the money to have a business because they want it. Got it. That's real world crowdfunding right there. Yeah, and that's what you're doing now for everybody else. So if I want a coffee shop now, I go on your site and use that to get all my money. But I mean, it, it's sort of much more interesting because as you're saying on your site, I mean, as a business, then you could use it so many other ways, right? I mean, it, and so how else can I use your site as a business besides just getting money for me? Well, there's a couple different ways. One is you can support projects by promoting your business. It's kind uh -huh. of fusing two different activities that usually are happen separately. You can market your business while being philanthropic by offering rewards to projects that hopefully future customers uh -huh. can pledge for and then come into your business and become customers while seeing you as philanthropic in the community. So, so that's another way. So in other words, if there was like uh, a shelter or a girl's organization or something in the community, I could give them discount cards at my business as rewards for donating to the girls club, right? That's right. That's absolutely right. So you're branding your business as philanthropic and community-minded, uh -huh. but also hopefully driving new customers into your door. Right. Mugs, Mugs has been using this for just under a year now, and we've had well over 150 rewards claimed, and I'd say probably about 75% of them were customers that had never been to Mugs before. Now, Mugs is your coffee shop, I take it, right? That's right. I'm sorry. Yep, Mugs is the, <laughs> I thought I, it, Mugs it wasn't is your girlfriend. Shop. That's what I mean. That's right. <laughs> well, maybe it is. Right? <laughs> uh, so in other words, well, well, that's great because – they, they have these businesses that do this, you know, put a discount in my magazine and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's right. But, that's but right. you could do it right on there. Now, the other neat thing, if I'm a fundraiser, we need a fundraise for something. I put your widget for fundraising on my site, too. So people could come to my site and see like the whole thing that they would see on communityfunded.com would be on my site. That's right. In less than five minutes, you can install an entire crowdfunding platform on your website. So I have my own crowdfunding site on my site and your site. So I get your traffic, you know, plus my traffic goes directly to my site. And I don't have to give you much of my traffic, right? <laughs> that's exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. <laughs> well, that's the problem with these big sites, you know. I'm giving them all my traffic. Maybe that's how they get big because <laughs> they're getting my traffic. And they're really not generating anything of their own. Yeah, our goal is uh, if you're going to be driving people to your project, why not drive them to your own website? Absolutely. Right? So your thing is good for uh, fundraising, right? Right. Okay. It's good for the marketplace. Now that's a, an interesting you know section that you have now, so that uh, that you'll be able to, as a business, I could sell on your site, right? Or will be able to soon. 
That's right. Yeah, we're actually in a couple of weeks here launching the CF Marketplace, which allows for, you know, what we saw was that there was the projects that needed money and resources and support, but that was only one aspect of the community. Why not give the businesses in the community, yeah. and remember the individuals too, I mean, very much like Craigslist, you know, if you have a bike in your garage that you want to sell, you can sell that bike and a portion of it will go to support a project. So anything uh -huh. you sell on the Marketplace is also inherently supporting a project on the site. So I could put my, sell my books on the on your site, and a portion would go to one of the uh, community projects on your site, or a project you create for yourself ah, as well, or my own community project. Okay. Buy my yeah. book, and I'm going to give a dollar so to, to, to my <laughs> to my golf course. So <laughs> who needs new, new disease? And the ideation you talk about is another way to use your site. What does that yeah, mean? It's really just about tapping into the crowd to solve big problems. Huh. You know, the, it was really inspired by uh, uh, an old story of uh, you know the power of the crowd yes. and, and really this idea that uh, you know if you if you aggregate the answers of a crowd, typically the median answer is the right one. And you I read tell that you sociology that. book, didn't you? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. So you know, really, sometimes what you're finding Wisdom. is that the the power the crowd is typically more right than the experts. Yeah. Yeah, and the wisdom yeah. of crowds. Now, so it's a place like if, if I, hey, what is the next business idea I should do? There's a pops, maybe a way to use your crowd to say, hey, should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? And, and develop, uh, help develop something through the wisdom of the crowds there. Very much so. That's right. And especially, too, with solving big world problems is what I hope to see it used for, where it's uh, like, how can we solve this? I and everyone see. can chime in with different ideas and build off of ideas and ideate to the point in which the, the problem see. is solved. So how do we get these kids off the street at 10 o'clock or something? Sure. <laughs> Yo. And there might be a community that's already done that, so let's hopefully yeah. they'll share that, that solution with you. Yeah. That's true. An, an event. So people could use this event for their annual event, like uh, whether it's a bake sale or you know, a 10K run or something like that. That's exactly right. Yeah, the event is really just a fundraising page, but allow, yeah. it's really catered to the idea that the event is happening on a specific day, that you're going to most likely have to sell tickets or booths right. or sponsorships, right. things like that. And so it's just kind of set up as a template to uh, to really focus on event fundraising and event promotion and marketing. Uh, you know, and the idea is that once people attend that event and buying their tickets and participating through community funded, then they're able to stay in contact with that event creator over the time uh, to know when next year's event's right. happening and updates and changes. Keep them. So, and, and then the other thing I really think is important now because people get lost in how to raise money on the web and things like that, is that you have resources now. You're, you're aggregating like uh, consultants and things like this that are really informed about crowdfunding and ha you could access them through your site to help you market or do a video or whatever the things you need to do this and get it done. Yeah, that's right. You know, most uh, you know, you know the two ways usually you can learn it yourself, or you can pay someone who knows right. what they're doing, and we <laughs> offer both options. So I mean, I know. well, to me, there if I'm going to do it again, I might as well learn it myself. If I'm not going to do it again, well, I might as well pay somebody. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's like fixing the toilet. I don't want to buy all those tools. <laughs> uh, that's right. <laughs> it's better to hire somebody for a couple hundred bucks. He's got all the tools that are a thousand dollars. Well, this is go. a great site, but you know that your enthusiasm, okay, is infectious, and uh, you obviously changed your community there in Colorado. You work on so many nonprofit events, you know, and raising funds that are so important, it seems, and, and, and what you're doing for others and universities to do this. I mean, this widget you could put, you know, as you say, for universities to crowdfund. So you take your technology, put a little widget there, and you have a crowdfunding set on your own page. Right. That's right. Yeah. I, I definitely encourage you to watch the video that's on our homepage slider. You can watch a video. It's only about uh, two minutes long or so, but it really shares the vision that we see, which is empowering communities to really unite people around ideas versus being so dependent on a hierarchical system. Yeah. Now, it, it's the wisdom of crowds or the power of crowds in addition to the wisdom of crowds. So you go to communityfunded.com, watch that video, two minutes, you don't have to buy anything. Just watch, you get smart about this stuff because it's a train, it's a freight train that's coming through life and you better that's hold right. on to this thing. <laughs> now look at, right. look at McCabe, he was running a coffee shop and now he's an IT guru. <laughs> there you go, I don't know how that happened. But it happens. <laughs> so anybody can do this, right? That's exactly right. 
we know that for sure. As long, Thank as, long you. as you have a patient wife, right? That's right. All <laughs> Thank you so much, McCabe. Communityfunded.com. Thank you very much. You bet.